Hi everyone, welcome to Wedra Studio. Today, we are going to talk about potassium. So now let's get straight to it. Potassium is an element that belongs to the alkali metal group of the periodic table. With an atomic number 19, a typical potassium atom has 19 protons, 19 electrons, and 20 neutrons. Did you know that the name potassium comes from the English word for potash? Whereas the symbol K is derived from the Latin calium and the Arabic kali for alkali. It was first purified and isolated in 1807 by Sir Humphrey Davy through an electrolysis process of molten potash. Potassium is the seventh most abundant element in the Earth's crust, making about 2.4% of its mass. Most potassium minerals are found in igneous rocks. It is also present in seawater and in ionic salts. The potassium content of the Dead Sea is estimated at about 1.7% potassium chloride, 20 times more than that in Atlantic Ocean. Did you know that the most stable form of potassium is created in supernovae through supernova nucleosynthesis? It is made, along with other elements such as sulfur and silicon, during explosive oxygen burning in supernovae. Potassium is a solid, soft silvery white metal at room temperature. Its boiling point is 760 degrees Celsius, but its melting point is relatively low at 63.5 degrees Celsius, which is quite low compared to many other metals. Potassium is relatively light. It is actually one of the least dense metals, with a density of 0.86 grams per cubic centimeter at room temperature. When heated, potassium creates a vibrant purple flame, and its vapor is green, making it useful in flame tests for identifying the presence of potassium. Potassium is highly reactive and is never found free in nature. It reacts vigorously with water and generating heat in the reaction. It is also quite reactive with acids and many non-metals, such as sulfur, chlorine, and nitrogen. Due to its variable reactivity, potassium forms various compounds with other elements. Some of the compounds include potassium hydroxide, potassium carbonate, potassium chloride, and potassium nitrate. Did you know that potassium is essential for life and is found in all cells? It plays a crucial role in maintaining fluid and electrolyte balance in the body. Potassium is available in a wide variety of fruits, vegetables, grains, dairy and meat. Most healthy people get enough potassium from their regular diet. Nevertheless, people low in potassium can suffer from hypokalemia. Severe hypokalemia can be life-threatening, with symptoms include irregular heartbeat, fatigue, muscle cramps and constipation. Potassium has a wide range of uses across various industries. It is vital for plant growth and is commonly used as fertilizer in agriculture to improve crop yield and quality. Due to its high thermal conductivity, potassium is used as a heat transfer medium in certain industrial processes. It is also used in some types of heat exchangers and cooling systems. Potassium compounds are used in diverse industrial processes. Potassium hydroxide is used to produce soaps and detergents, while potassium carbonate is used in the manufacture of glass and ceramics. Many manufacturers use potassium chloride when formulating low-sodium products. It is also used to treat hypokalemia. Toughened glass can be made by immersing glass in molten potassium nitrate. It is also used to produce fireworks and gunpowder. Potassium superoxide is used as a portable oxygen source in environments with limited oxygen supply, such as in space and submarines. It releases oxygen and absorbs carbon dioxide, providing a source of breathable air. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.